Hello, welcome to a vlog. Today I want to talk about making choices. Specifically about how difficult it is for me to make choices, which is a very broad statement, but it is so distinct in my life that it is basically a joke that I cannot choose what to have for dinner or lunch when I go out with people. At the core of the thing, it's really frustrating. I've been thinking about that. I was gonna try and explain it, and then I realized that there is a very strong connection between the difficulty of making choices and the feeling of being in what I would call a transition stage, a time frame or a mindset wherein you are keeping all your options open. You are in between things, you are looking what to do next, but while you're looking what to do next, everything is a maybe. And so you are not committing to anything. I've always felt like it was easier for me to commit to stuff that felt like it was streamlined, set out for me by society, aka going to school for 13 years and never liking going to school. Stuff like that always felt like ticking off boxes. That's just expected of me to do and it's not a choice or I have didn't see it as a choice so I just did it. But then sometimes these big choices come up and I make them without giving it a second thought. After school, I was like, sure, I'll move to the UK and go to uni there. And then during my first week, I was like, shit, I'm in a different country. I don't know anyone. And then, you know, that feeling was better after the first three months. And so I just adapted and that was fine. But had I thought about that choice for a prolonged time where I'd actually considered the implications of the choice as I so often do, I don't think I would have done it. And so after uni, everything was kind of up in the air because, you know, you need to find the next thing. An internship, do I get a job? And, you know, with film, that's not a given. And so eventually I just moved back home and then I got a somewhat internship here. But basically, I was back home, back at my parents' house for a year, pretty much aimless. And then eventually I just started applying to German uni. And I started studying psychology. Long story short, I've been studying psychology for a semester now. I'm still living at home. Part of me still feels like I want to add, yeah, but it's just a thing for now. It's cool. I'm interested in it. I'm writing exams at the moment. I'm studying hard for them. So I feel like I'm pretending as if it's just the thing that's going to lead me to the next thing. But as soon as someone would ask me, well, what is it transitioning to? I'd be like, I don't know. The same vague thing that I had in mind for 13 years of school, where I thought, well, this sucks, but after that, I'm going to do the thing. It's always been taking boxes to get to the thing, but I cannot tell you what the thing is. So the theme of this video, which you might be wondering why it's commuting, committing and communicating, I am commuting to university at the moment, but there is an option for me to move there and hence committing to stuff because moving there, actually living in the confinements of the university city might make this transition stage a little more of a real thing of like a commitment to what I am actually doing. Maybe, maybe it feels like because I studied film and then that didn't work out and then I went, oh, I'm going to study psychology. It felt like very disconnected and just the next chunk in my life. But I guess if I really, really think about it, that's just living, right? I mean, you do one thing and then you've done that thing and then all you can do is move on to the next thing. And there's always going to be a thing you work towards, but that doesn't make the thing that you're in less valid. This is so coherent. That's part three, communicating. Yay. Um, I don't know. How are you about choices? How do you feel like, in terms of the outlook on life, do you feel like you got it all figured out? I don't know. I mean, like, who does, right? Anyway, nice talking to you guys.